today's the day. We started with the pit bike, then we did the quads, the shifter cart, and now the- Like uh, this car. Hopefully, dude. I mean, eventually, yeah. yeah. If, I'd love to. If we still don't get any snow, yeah, it'll probably end up being Mike's car, but we got studs for the Maverick. What was this, like $800 worth of studs? We got 300 snowmobile studs. Plan is to drill them from the bottom side of the tire. You guys think it was gonna do wheelies? That's the goal. Maybe. That's the goal. Maybe. Probably not, considering it's literally bone stock. Yeah. But. <laughs> So happy that we have legitimate bead locks, not just like the fake ones, because you can swap Do the tire this. out yeah. at home. We don't have machine. to bring it in, yeah. yeah. Where we live, actually, they won't put studded tires on at tire place because technically it's like legal because it's bad for the road. So you gotta do it at home. That's probably pretty good. Just gotta do that 300 more times. <laughs> it's gonna rip so hard. The anticipation for this one is like insanely high. All right, so next morning, and the tires are holding air actually perfectly. Yeah, no so leakage good. at all. We got this cardboard laid down, so we absolutely don't doink our concrete. And uh, we're gonna load her up on the trailer and head to the lake. The first move. Oh, seems to be old enough. Seems like I have more traction. Yeah, <laughs> we need the protection. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Straight, straight back. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> Dude. It's nice to have you here today, Mike. It's nice to be here. Yeah, nice welcome, to... welcome. Really sad I missed one of our two sessions. Yeah, you didn't miss out on much. It wasn't that much fun, oh, I that promise. Was the best one. Jesus, Ken. Oh. I mean, we're good. We're good. You got a little bit of cardboardage with you. So as you guys can see, we got a little bit of snow compared to last week, but still not enough to go snowmobiling. So here we are. <laughs> Let her eat. It. it must have been the uh, extra studs that Micah put on the outside of the tire. I knew I shouldn't have done those. Hey, throw it in two. I got it in two. Oh, is it better in two? Yeah, it's definitely better. Is, is it like just too much in four? Yeah. Really? Like I can't get it to slide out hardly. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bitch, that but... Too, the snow, the snow, you're sliding and then the next one... Oh, jeez. You gotta get ran over with that. No, we're good. Man, that thing needs an exhaust. Concrete. Like you can't drift. So what you're saying is we accidentally built the drag race setup. We accidentally <laughs> did too good of a job. Yeah, and the first time of history of Sea Boys <laughs> ever. <laughs> Damn Fuller, you might have the machine for the day. Dude, Fuller just did <laughs> the like, whoa, classic you, way you would stud something, something not going over the top, and his is perfect. Yeah, so Fuller's pretty much running the same setup as the quads were, and uh, I think that might be honestly way better. All right, so we're hoping if we put more air in the tire, uh, there's gonna be like less studs on the ground at one point and it's gonna have less traction. So that's the play. I don't know that's if it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Is it just me or is this bubbling? Oh, shit. Wow. All right, boys, let's try not to roll this thing.
trying to be like extra dramatic or nothing, but I can feel the ice cracking beneath me when they get around. It's like, doom, doom. it's like shifting. I don't know. Holy smokes. Look at this. that thing where you take a really heavy rock and you drop it on the ice it won't break through but it'll like but if you get in super slow motion like, yeah, you'll see it just be pretty cool spider web <laughs> all right drive it to like a a nice spot where it's glare ice like so we're gonna grab it and we're gonna hug it are you in 120 yeah okay make sure you're in 120 we want this shit looking nice Nice. I just was thinking we'd stand hucking from our shoulders off. It'd be better of a hook than on this. Over your shoulders? shoulders? You should put it in your shoulder like a shot foot, spin around, and then throw it. Hey, <laughs> right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm gonna drop it from higher, like, and like get it down right on the spot it lands, like looking down on it. All right. No, Mike, get over here. If CJ had a bodying oh, yeah. building show, this is what I imagine being his assistant would be like. Come on, get up! <laughs> Mike, where are you grabbing onto? Hold up, hold the up. The rock! The handles, Ken, what do you think? <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, don't drop it on my Ken's foot now. Alright, let's kind of like swing it out. Okay. Swing it out? No, just, we're gonna put it right there, okay? Alright, one, two, three. What the f***? What is that, Ken? What the f*** are you trying to do? <laughs> Alright, if Ryan lifts this shit... Ah! Right there, Ryan. Right there. Ah! This is amazing. <laughs> that was pretty good, Ryan. <laughs> that was pretty good. Mike just lifted this shit, by the way. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about, Mike. Do you need my help? Okay, one, two, three. Oh! oh nice. Oh, whoa. oh, now <laughs> Ken's got the energy. Come on, Kenny! There you go, there you go. Oh, bare hands. Oh, look at this. Come on, CJ, my gloves don't grip it. They just slide right off. <laughs> oh, no, dude, I'm getting side up for this type of entertainment today. <laughs> Hold up, Ryan. I don't know if that's oh, fucking me. Yes. Ken? Yes. Ken? Nope. <laughs> Use the handles. I'm done. Come on, Ken! You can't give up. Man. I'm giving up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need to stud the Maverick. We just need to go get a rock and the boys. <laughs> You're rattled right now. <laughs> I think you gotta like. Yeah, that's a tough thing because I went down and I hooked my. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Deep, deep. I hooked. Oh, deep, deep. <laughs> here we go. Oh, he's going. Oh. He's going. Yeah. Just rock. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> Yo, did we loop that rock up before we handed it to Ken or what? <laughs> hey, Ryan. Yeah. You remember? Oh. When you ran my helmet over with that minivan? And you just ran over your helmet, oh! Ben! Oh! 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 Oh!
Real talk, the views have been crazy lately and uh, we're trying to get a million by the end of the year. It's probably not gonna happen, but we're, just, we're gonna settle with 900K. Yeah, how about, how about 900K? <laughs> Anyways, whatever happens next, that's what we're gonna be doing. Well, the time has come for stage two of our uh, shipping container endeavor here. No one still knows what's going on. Yeah, people are still very confused. Ryan just got back with about 13 well, gallons well, of paint. And it I well, I, I don't know about I don't know about that one. Hold up. What Do is we, going on? What is going? What is happening? What's, what's right now? one that I can hold safely. All right. Okay. So, this is one of these 13 gallons of paint, and it costs. Hold up. Are you sure you want to do this? 1,300 dollars. It doesn't get any easier the second time. No, it doesn't. For so, paint. This better be some good paint. Bro, this better be gold. We're heavily invested in these shipping containers, not gonna lie. It's getting a little spendy. It's getting a little too spendy. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're committed. We're not gonna just leave them looking like absolute trash. Well, not trash, but bland as Do you have some duct tape somewhere? Yeah, you guys spray paint a banana and call it art. I'm gonna duct tape it on the first. Are you stoned right now? No. God forbid Micah does something sober. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad, dude. Yeah, so Ryan, I'm not gonna lie, you kind of killed it on the paint booth set up here. Look at this. Okay, check out this paint booth. I, I, I mean by paint booth, I literally mean two sheets of plastic on the walls. All right, those are chin diapers. So, Are these OSHA approved? Yep, they're OSHA approved chin diapers. Painting masks though? They're chin diapers. They're not masks, they're chin diapers. And you're so culturally woke. Uh, we gotta be nice to Ken from now on. He's got a hard day. Oh, Why? No, 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 no. We gotta be nice to Ryan. Oh, yeah, he I've is, got a hard day. He's had a hard, he's had a hard month. <laughs> what? A whole hard month, dude. What? Why? What am I missing here? Are you good? I don't know. <laughs> have, have you seen um, this little thing called uh, wind? This thing that like blocks the wind? I've never seen, particularly seen it with my eyes, but I know what you're talking about. What are you talking about right now, Ken? The paint is getting to us. All right, Ken. Gee, Ken. Dial. Ken, you've been huffing way too much paint, bro. I'm the only one wearing my chin diaper here. What? What? Look at Ken, this guy. you are so stoned right now. I always enjoy when we get Ken's Kenisms on camera because the world doesn't truly know Ken like we do day to day. So it's always so exciting when we can capture it in one of its truest forms. I love that guy so much. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Good. Yeah, they did. Yeah, if you just don't look at like the very fine details, there's a couple drips. Other than that, dial. We got Ryan's dad, Randy, here, and he's gonna help us move these super heavy shipping containers to their permanent spots. And then from there, it might make a little more sense of what our plan is with these things. Right there. Definitely wide. We were really worried yeah. it was gonna be wide enough in the middle. Definitely have enough room. Oh yeah. Well, I assume you guys are starting to know what the idea is with the shipping containers. I uh, don't assume. Yeah, probably not. Over here, we 
just want it for like basically like storage if we want to put a trailer uh there's still 12 feet over there to do so tuck stuff away and then in the center here um the plan was to make like the work bay area so we'll have like the workbenches, the cabinets everything on the back wall but like everything like wrenching wise is going to be done in here and then we'll be able to use the containers for like storage or like shelving or like putting stuff in there i don't I, we don't really know what we're gonna do with the insides yet but the best part you but, gotta tell them the best part and then the best part here you you tell them. so the best part was like kind of inspired by the fantasy factory i don't know if you guys have seen that show but anyways we're gonna build out from this balcony area across and then we'll uh basically have offices and then windows put in so you'll overlook the rest of the shop and like a overhang over here so there'll be like a ceiling and then like a whole area yep. And that's where we'll put the Seaboys TV sign hanging yeah. up on the wall in between those. It might be kind of hard to visualize right now, but in the next two months, it'll all come to fruition and, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be sick. It's yeah. gonna be really nice. It's gonna be super sick. So I don't know if we fully showcased how sweet this YFZ is with the sequential shifter, but I just took it for a rip and it's absolutely incredible to drive. So I'm gonna throw the GoPro on and do it again and bring you guys along. <laughs> Ooh.